Well, Rami, congratulations on your appointment, the new Aston Villa manager. How does it feel? It feels very good. It's a very important moment of my career. I'm very proud to be the new Aston Villa manager. I'm here to, to do my best to give a lot to this uh, big football club, so I'm very happy to be here. Tell us about the conversations you've had with Randy Lerner, the chairman, and Tom Fox, the chief executive, and, and how they persuaded you that this was the right move for you. I had a very nice, uh, some nice meetings with uh, both of them, with Randy and with Tom, and uh, we had a nice uh, feeling straight away. Of course, uh, the situation is not uh, the best one you could imagine to start, but uh, you know, um, I felt that uh, these people were the good people for having a football club. So um, we had a nice uh, chat, nice meetings, and uh, they thought that I could be helpful for this club. So um, and I'm really enjoyed the the situation because. Uh, you know, when you come in a football club, always there is pressure, there is difficulties, there is problem to solve. But this is the way that you have to to cope with. So I'm okay. The club have signed a lot of French players and French-speaking players. Yeah. Can the fact that you are a Frenchman yourself can that help them settle in? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, we are in England. Uh, we need to, to adapt, to settle in, in, the, in this new area, in this new world. They have to. Mm. This is the first thing because uh, they are not anymore playing for French team or in France, so it's over. Uh, probably they will feel better, but uh, you know my problem is not the French player, my problem is the team, mm. the team result. So. I won't care more about uh, the French player than I will with the English or the Spanish or, or the African one, you know. It's uh, a team is a whole team. We need to be all together. And uh, for example, they have to, to learn English quickly uh, because uh, I don't want anybody speaking French in the dressing room, for example, because it's, it's very important that uh, uh, we understand each other. But as well, it's also important, for example, that the, the English player speaks slowly sometime mm -hmm. at the beginning, you know, it's everybody has to make efforts to be a, a big team because when you have such uh, qualities in the dressing room, normally we should do better. So it's a huge, huge task, but everybody has to be concerned about that.